Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to look at um, creating a cable in Maya, and uh, we're going to do that by extruding some polygon geometry along a curve. So I've got a really simple scene here with a, uh, a Walkman and a headset. Um, just I've got a smooth preview on these, so they don't look, uh, look but ugly. And so what we'll do is um, create a quick curve. So I need to obviously connect this to that. And so we'll use one of two tools to do this. We need to create a curve. So we're going to go to create. And you can see there's an EP curve tool and a CV curve tool. They both create the same thing, but in different ways. The CV curve tool um, is slightly more difficult, in my opinion, than the EP curve tool. So for the CV one, you have to just uh, click on it. And then uh, you'll see that if you just go to your grid, you have to click not once not twice, not three times, but four times before it generates the actual curve. And so as you click away, it will always create the curve on the inside of any corners that you create. So this can be really good if you've got, I don't know, let's pretend a road with a tight corner, you can be dead sure that it's going to go inside that corner um, like that. Um, and so that can be a really um, a good one to use. For, so this could be really good for roads or anything like that if you want to keep things um, with sharp corners. If you're doing something like a cable, it may be better to use the EP curve tool. And what this will do is create, uh, you can just click with two points and after the second click, it starts to generate a curve. Uh, the difference between this one and the last one is that the curve always goes through the click point um, no matter where you click the curve will always go through it um, like like that the main issue with this one is if you go if you leave quite a long distance between one point and the other and then expect to turn a sharp corner it won't do it it won't have it so um, and you know if you want to start going down like this you can see my points I'm expecting them in my head to just turn a sharp corner like that you can see what it's doing so if you were creating a roller coaster for example this would be the curve to use because the uh, it sort of evens out all of the other um, the, cur the curve information around it to create a nice soft um, curve and so this would work very well for a cable as well and um, make it look like how it would naturally be curled up on a table so that is using the uh, EP curve tool so uh, let's create our curve properly now um, it may be best to jump to one of your camera views for this. So if you're creating something like a, a cable hanging from a, um, a power line, then it'd be best to jump to your side view and draw it that way. And it will end up creating a curve in the middle of your grid, but it will be created along the Y axis and be hanging down. For this one, though, we've got this uh, little scene that would, could be set up at the top of a, of a table or something like that. So I'm going to go to create. EP curve tool and in my top view uh, just click my way along to create the desired shape of the cable uh, so I'm just going to uh, snake along like this and keep the distance between each click point fairly similar so that we get um, we get this going actually I made a slight mistake there so keeping the points between your clicks fairly equally distant and then go up into the headphones there and after you've finished, you've, you can deselect. So just click on the uh, cursor tool and deselect it. Um, you'll be thinking, oh, I made a slight mistake. I wish I could sort this out. To do that, just right click on the curve and go to Control Vertex. And then you can see the little uh, vertex points and you're able to click and drag them up into position. So if I go to my top view, let's say I'm not happy with the angle that's going, I, I can select these three vertex points, hit E on the keyboard and rotate them like that. And then I can move them into a position that maybe flows more naturally with the object. Okay, so um, let's say that's the that's a fairly short cable. Uh, let's just uh, stretch these out a bit. Okay, let's say I'm, uh, I'm happy uh, with that. Okay, so we've got a curve point there. Uh, you can see I've also moved it up in 3D space as well. I'm just gonna make sure that that works nicely so I can select these vertex points and move them up in 3D in 3D space since we are using 
a 3D program. I'm also going to do it back here and make sure that the cable uh, looks like it could go to the middle of the cassette player uh, quite neatly. I'm going to move that one down and uh, this could work now. So now we need to create a some geometry to extrude along that curve. I'm just going to move my uh, cassette player um, down a bit out of the way and I'm going to create a cylinder. So if you're dead lazy you can just go stay in your perspective view and create a cylinder like this and then rotate it afterward like that and move it into space. I'm going to resize that down to there and make sure I get the thickness of the cable exactly right. You have to get the thickness perfect really before you uh, before you extrude. So I can see that's a pretty beefy uh, audio cable at the moment. So something like that, maybe a bit more, uh, a bit more realistic. The next step before you extrude, you have to simplify this shape. You're going to be extruding this probably with a hundred divisions to give it the curve needed to go along there. And at the moment, we've got twenty um, divisions going, subdivisions going along the outside of our cylinder. That's way too many. Um, so I'm going to go to the attribute editor up here with the cylinder selected, and go to the poly cylinder poly cylinder one tab and change the subdivisions axis from 20 to either 6 or 8. I'm going to choose 6. Um, actually, I'll just choose there. Uh, well, I'm going to smooth this out later on anyway. So I'm just going to choose 6 divisions. And then I'm going to move this along with my cassette player slightly towards the curve. So you don't have to get this exactly right, but I personally like to line up my uh, cylinder that I'm going to extrude along really close to the curve point and so if you get it smack on like that then you know you're going to be okay. Just move it out of the way for a second. Now select the faces you want to extrude, hold down shift and select your curve. Obviously because we've only got six faces here it makes it much uh, easier to select them all. And then uh, so select those, select your curve afterwards and then go to edit mesh and we're going to go to the options box next to extrude. Okay, so options box next to extrude under face. And we, the divisions at the moment is one. So normally when we extrude, we're used to just seeing one simple new shape be created. If we were to do that, um, this, and obviously make sure as well that the selected under curve settings, choose selected curve. Um, if we were to just extrude with one division, but which is what we get by default, it will go straight from the beginning directly to the end, ignoring our curve. So we can't have that. So I'm going to hit undo and then go to edit mesh and under face extrude options box. I'm actually going to type in 100 and then hit extrude. And now the cylinder has extruded along the curve like that all the way up to our, our headphones. I'd still say the cable's pretty thick um, at the moment. Um, but that's uh, not too much of a big deal. Maybe it keeps it looking quite cartoony, that's fine. The other thing you might notice is you've got these hard edges along the um, curve at the moment, and we don't really want that. Um, so to avoid these hard edges all the way along, just select the entire thing, and then go to Normals, Soften Edge. And now, even though we've only got six um, divisions, for like six sort of faces going around this, the smooth normals command has now kept it looking quite round. Um, the only way you'd ever notice that it had six divisions is when you see it intersect another object like that. So this has now created a, a nice um, shape for us to work with. Let's say you want to, now you can see it in, in, uh, with the cable on as well, let's say you want to modify it further, you can actually still select the curve inside of this. So if you hit four, if you're very accurate, you can actually select the curve in the middle. And as you do so, the main uh, cable will go pink, which means it's now connected to this because we haven't deleted history. So now go to Control Vertex, um, and we can still move these curve points around with our geometry connected to it live, which is uh, really good. So, um, and to stop this from happening, let's say you want to delete your curve, uh, you're fed up with everything, just select your polygon geometry and then delete the history, and then it will be frozen in that shape forever. But uh, now we've got to do is connect uh, our uh, Walkman up to it like that. 
and we've got ourselves a fairly natural looking scene.